There are three elections coming up in Europe. On January 26th, Italy has two regional elections. These are going to be very exciting, very important election. I hope to have a video tomorrow night talking about that. Slovakia has a general election on February 29th. I'm going to have Peter back to do a video with me about Slovakian politics. However, in this video, I will briefly talk about the Irish general election on February 8th. But first, there's big news in Norway. Siv Jensen, head of the Progress Party, pulled her party out of the Norwegian ruling coalition over the ISIS bride scandal. The Progress Party is Norway's third largest party and part of a ruling coalition with Hora, which is also known as the Conservative Party. The coalition had five parties, the Conservative Party with 45 seats, the Progress Party with 26 seats, the Christian Democrats with eight, and the Liberal Party with eight. The English language media calls this a, quote, right-wing government. The Conservative Party is actually about as weak as you can get. Only the Progress Party can really be called a conservative or center-right party. Siv Jensen pulled the Progress Party out of the ruling coalition after the government allowed a Pakistani jihad bride to return to Norway. This woman left Norway years ago to marry a Nusra Front al-Qaeda fighter and later remarried an ISIS fighter after the first husband was killed. She has two children, one from each father. She used an allegedly sick child as a way to pressure the Norwegian government to allow her to return to Norway. Jensen says the ruling coalition was not enacting any of the Progress Party's policies anyway, so there was no reason to stay. She said the ISIS bride was just the final straw. This will not actually bring down the government or force an early election. Under Norwegian law, Arne Solberg of the Conservative Party will stay in power. Jensen says that Solberg panders to the two smaller coalition partners, but ignores the Progress Party. She wants to firmly position the Progress Party as part of the opposition to differentiate her party from the actions of the government. This is the kind of bold action that the right needs to take, and I believe this type of action pays off. Now, the upcoming Irish election was called with extremely short notice. It is also the first election to be held on a Saturday in 102 years. The two dominant parties in Ireland are Finn Gael, Irish Family, and Fiona Foyle, Warriors of Destiny. Now, they've been running Ireland together since before World War II. They go back and forth between which one is the biggest and which one gets to hold the position of Prime Minister, but they will almost certainly still be running Ireland after the election. Now, these are very much establishment centrist parties. At one time, they both could have probably been called center-right, but I don't think you could really call them center-right anymore. In fact, for decades, Fiona Foyle used to be part of the more hard-line EU groups. They were even part of an explicitly nationalist and Eurosceptic group between 1999 and 2009, but now they are part of the pro-EU centrist faction known as Renew Europe. The biggest left-wing party is the notorious Sinn Féin. This is a radical leftist Marxist party. They call themselves nationalist, at least to their American donors, but they are a hardcore open borders leftist party. They are also an all-Ireland party, meaning they run in the Republic of Ireland as well as Northern Ireland. Sinn Féin famously raises money in the USA from people who largely have no idea who they even are. They fundraise at private Irish clubs and Irish music festivals. They are extremely vague and just tell people they want a united Ireland. In America, you can see bands singing Irish pub songs like Come Out Ye Black and Tans. Americans sing along. Most don't know what the lyrics are even about, but some people get excited and then Friends of Sinn Féin is there saying, we are the ones who are going to stick it to the English. They don't tell the people that they are a hardcore Marxist party. Then these Sinn Féin guys will go set up tables at Antifa events, and it's a completely different story. At the Antifa events, they portray themselves as openly Marxist and use militant IRA imagery. The polls also show 10% or more support for other parties and independents. However, they don't define who the other parties are. There are a bunch of new parties. 
One that might win seats is called Aintu, which was launched by Peter Toybin, an incumbent NP who was run out of Sinn Féin. He clashed with the rest of Sinn Féin over abortion, and they eventually suspended his membership in the party for six months because he voted against repealing the Irish abortion ban. So he quit and launched a brand new All-Ireland Party that is basically supposed to be a socially conservative version of Sinn Féin. Aintu will be an All-Ireland Party and support reunification, but will allegedly promote conservatism, populist economics, and have a Eurosceptic focus towards the EU. Ireland has 39 constituencies, and each constituency gets between three to five members of the parliament. Peter Toybin is hoping to retain his own seat and win seats in three other constituencies. So the party is basically putting all their efforts into four races. There's another new party called the National Party. It was founded in 2016. This appears to be a serious nationalist party. They are calling for a moratorium on Islamic immigration. They are a hardline socially conservative party that promotes populist and protectionist economic policies. They also advocate for Irish reunification. The media hates this party and demonizes them. I'm not sure how many constituencies they're running in, but they have a lot of candidates who are out campaigning. I don't know what their actual chances are of getting anyone elected. There's another party called the Irish Freedom Party that is campaigning as an anti-EU party. This appears to be just a single-issue protest party, and I don't think it's actually very big. All right, thanks for watching this video. Click the like button, post a comment below, and tell me what you think about this. And please consider making a donation to this YouTube channel. And I'd like to thank the people who are making 2 and $5 donations on Subscribestar to this YouTube channel. Uh, some new people started making donations after my last video, so that was nice. And please support my sponsor, Patriotic Flags, the online flag store, patriotic-flags.com. Tell them Renaissance Horizon sent you and get yourself an Irish flag. And click the subscribe button. New video every few days, but hopefully tomorrow.